Pastor Phil, primary focus. You look at this picture. You're an inspector. You're a leader out there in the plumbing field. Maybe you're the owner of a business or you're the master plumber controlling a project. Um, you just look at this installation, this photograph. And what was the main issue here, Tony Levanti? Uh, structural penetrations. Very good. This photograph, it was all about structural penetration. And it's also about things that you see like up in here because the pipe is really close. Even though that's two inches, you can't tell that that's two inches. You have two inches above, two inches below, but that pipe penetration exceeded one third the depth of the member. So the plumber on both sides, as you look at this, what do we call this board, Colin West? Is it a gusset? Yes. That is plywood cut to the depth of the member and gusseted on, meaning on both sides. Gusseted is not only about the nails or screws. It's also about the fastening liquid, liquid nail or whatever they used under it before they gusseted on. This is an excellent example of a plumber who is a craftsman that worked with the contractors. And I was always taught as an apprentice, this is what you do. I wasn't going to wait for the contractor or the carpenter. Maybe it said something to him, but I would just do it on my own. A plumbing inspector can fail a job if he or she recognizes whether or not you made the structural members non-compliant because of the hole you drilled through them. So again, gusseting, very important. This one was actually four feet long. Liquid nailed both sides, also nail guards, even though there's a little bit of space there. So Pastor Phil, what would you do? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, I would do thumbs up too. Actually, I did. That was really, really, uh, it was a really, really nice job altogether. <laughs>